working with nature would, I suppose, be a key to that would be um, observing nature first and therefore following some of its um, design and some of its principles. And that's kind of somewhat where some of those soil health principles come from, the idea of um, minimizing disturbance. Generally, we don't see soil cultivation and soil tillage a great deal in nature. Uh, most of the natural systems are um, no-till in that sense. Now, that's not to say that the, some of the life in the soil is not providing some form of soil movement. Earthworms do move around. They do the, the bio-tillage, I guess we could say. But um, really, it's about <clears throat> kind of mimicking that design and trying to mimic some of the nutrient cycling. So again, that would be part of the livestock integration. In nature, plants and animals always coexist. So in, in uh, modern agriculture these days, we went through a process of specialization and uh, you know livestock farmers became livestock farmers and crop farmers became crop farmers and um, we lost some of that natural design of plants and animals that does happen in nature working together so it's really then um, looking to try and mimic that and mimic something mimicking some of the way plants grow and die and decay um, on the surface and you know, of course, nature does it with very little inputs. Um, nature doesn't necessarily produce as much as we do in agriculture. So there is a discussion there to be had about nutrient removal and nutrient replacement. But if we look at natural systems, of course, it's they're generally more closed loop. They are more about cycling the plant litters through animals and then regrow through microorganisms and then regrowing from there. So it, I guess it tries to be a little bit more lower input generally. I think that um, part of the, the reason or part of the benefit of regenerative agriculture maybe not being so defined yet does mean that it is just a big old continuum of between regenerative and conventional. And sure, so there is some kind of a middle ground hybrid happening between those, definitely. Just like probably 10 years ago, if you'd asked me that question, I would say, well, there's a big old hybrid happening between organic and conventional, and that seems to be something called regenerative that's emerging. I think regenerative was the middle ground that emerged between organic and conventional, um, which I think was also great um, because there's a lot of both of those production systems can learn from each other. On the negative side, you know, regenerative has become somewhat of a polarizing and, um, term also because some conventional farmers who might consider themselves to be doing best practice and to be sustain being sustainable and doing a great job, um, some of those feel that by default, if you're saying that you are regenerative, then by default, um, I am degenerative. And so I know some conventional farmers are not too happy with some of the terms and um, some of that context that's emerging, um, which uh, I think is a shame, but I, I hope that they'll find something there in that continuum, in that hybrid that they can um, still engage with and that's also a point that we talk about regenerative as this emerging concept but many of the ideas and principles are existing in best management practice and many of them are from a hundred years ago before World War you know before we went on this productive specialization and so um, in, in a way we are rediscovering what you know perhaps um, techniques that were used um, prior to the development of modern fertilizers and pesticides, etc., we're rediscovering how we to produce food without those. And so, we're in that journey of rediscovery, we're trying to find out well what's still relevant. How do we make it practical? How do we apply it? So, so in that sense, it is still emerging in terms of its integration. But some of the ideas are um, are timeless, indeed. So I, th I just, I, yeah, I hope that everybody. I think farmers really need a greater strength of unity generally. Um, they're all one community and I think we do need better cross-pollination and collaboration as a farming community rather than splitting up and, and dividing us. I think that's also really important.